and they started taking pictures of galaxies and, and they, they could tell they rotate spiral form and stuff, but they started tracing their rotation speeds. And that's very interesting. They found uh, totally, totally contrary to what they would expect. The rotation speeds do not follow a whirlpool formation which gravity would form. There's got to be a massive donut of dark matter, 80 or 90 percent of the mass of a galaxy is in a donut of non-visible matter surrounding it, or a cloud of non-visible matter surrounding it. Uh, this is bizarre. It's the only thing they can do, though, to get their theory to the next stage, to, to not just give up and go home and drink coffee or something, you know? It's the only thing they can do. They're modeling on gravity. Einstein's theory is gravity. It's the only large-scale theory we have. Well, Thunderbolts of the Gods offers some different ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and give a few um, excerpts, cutouts from it. Go ahead and watch the video. I'm just going to give you some tasty little juicy bits and out of context a bit, but good stuff. Just wanted to recommend it to you. I've said before, we're going to have to straighten this out someday. Einstein's little silliness is going to have to uh, be kicked out. It's going to have to be corrected. I mean, um, Kepler and Copernicus um, both had some of the ideas, you know, to say, to say, oh, wait a minute, the Earth's moving. It's going around the sun. And then to say, oh, but the shape of its path is elliptical, right? Both of those theories got us a little further. They are still correct. They just had to be corrected a little teeny bit. It's not as though every piece of information you get totally contradicts every other and you're blind all the way. The cosmologists who, uh, and Einstein and, and fellows, they did accept that view of reality. They did accept that we can never know the ultimate constituents, that we're always just blindly grasping at another perception. They did accept that and believe that. That's why they're crippled. But it is not the case. Um, and we're going to have to correct it sooner or later. I hope that the correction's coming. It would be nice. I have wondered when, when this ivory tower in the colleges is going to get broke open. We're going to get some rationality in there to you know, help explain what's going on out there. Dark matter? Interesting. But why is there no evidence for it? Except the things that they can't explain in their theory. Well, if you take an electric current and take two charged masses and um, at, put them together, the formation that they, as they uh, interact, is not similar to a galaxy. It is exactly how a galaxy behaves. Exactly how a galaxy behaves. It, we can model with electricity, with electrical charges and the way that they interact. Uh, they have to postulate 90% mass of the galaxy in a dark donut to, 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 get, to, get, to get Einstein to the next step. But elect, electrical theory, which is scalable, uh, explains just perfectly. So, with this recommendation, um, again, I submit, those of you who are just so upset, how could I question science? What an idiot is Mr. Cropper. Philosophy comes first, ladies and gentlemen. Philosophy comes first. Sir Isaac Newton was the first to state the law of gravity. Eventually, everybody agreed that gravity alone formed galaxies and stars and planets, and that gravity alone holds the universe together. Then we discovered a force a thousand billion, 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 billion times more powerful than gravity. Until recently, we believed that the space between the stars and planets was empty, a vacuum. We now know it is teeming with charged particles. We see glowing electric filaments spanning millions of light years. We see stellar and galactic formations shaped by magnetic fields. Only electric currents create magnetic fields. It is possible that the predominant force in the universe is not gravity, but something else. Recent discoveries in space have amazed and perplexed astronomers. Current popular theories in the sciences can neither predict nor explain the phenomena we are now observing. A new theory is being proposed. A theory which
which can both predict and explain the data coming back from deep space. Its implications are profound and affect all the scientific disciplines. It is in fact a synthesis of the disciplines, a synthesis which has already led to discoveries that link modern astronomy, leading edge plasma physics, and ancient mythology. The electric model offers us a new interpretation of the workings of the universe, the history of our solar system, and even human history. History, we have regarded the states of matter as being solid, liquid, or gas. But in the last century or so, we have found that there is a form of matter where the charged particles within atoms are separated to some degree or another, and that is known as a plasma. It is the fundamental state of matter. It was not until the second half of the 20th century that we came to realize the role of plasma in the universe. And this has changed the picture of space completely. Not long ago, we thought of the physical universe as being constituted fundamentally of nothing more than atoms in empty space. But a plasma includes at least a percentage of charged particles, protons and electrons that are not bound to any atomic structure. And plasma is an excellent conductor. Electrons will move efficiently in the direction of charge equalization, and that's an electric current. Now the reason why we see magnetic fields everywhere we look in space is because electric currents produce magnetic fields, and only electric currents produce magnetic fields. But astronomers working only with gravitational equations did not anticipate the discovery of pervasive magnetic fields in deep space. The electric currents also count for the abundant filamentation of space plasma. First, the electric currents produce the magnetic fields. Then these fields confine the electron flow to narrow paths. Such current paths, or filaments, are called Birkeland currents, named after the pioneer Christian Birkeland. They are typically braided just like the twisted wires of transmission lines on Earth. Well, that's the role in space, to conduct electricity across vast distances, creating the astonishing structures we observe in every direction. None of these structures were anticipated by gravitational theory. And none are indicated by the behavior of neutral gases in a vacuum. In any theory of the universe, plasma is extremely important because it has been found since the space age that it makes up 99.99% of the visible universe. So our inexperience with it on the Earth's surface is rather uh, crippling when it comes to trying to decide on a cosmology to explain the visible universe. And one of the puzzles that has faced astronomers since the space age is the discovery of filamentary uh, structures galaxies, around stars, even the cometary tails of uh, planets and comets themselves. These filamentary structures have come as a surprise. We now have plasma physicists who are doing important experiments in laboratories around the world. And one of the virtues of plasma experiments is that they can be scaled over an enormous number of magnitudes. In other words, uh, a discharge phenomenon that may be seen in the laboratory that occupies only a few centimeters can be scaled up to the size of a galaxy and you will see the same structures. Now this introduces a new area into cosmology where we can do experiments on Earth which can verify our ideas, our theories about how the rest of the universe works. On a supercomputer using just a cloud of electrical charges and a magnetic field just using the laws of electrical science, not using anything to do with gravity. He simulated what looked like a spiral galaxy. And the interesting thing is that Perrette's spiral galaxy in the laboratory had exactly the same rotational properties as the real spiral galaxies that we see in the sky. We've got a whole new universe, and theoreticians are still trying